Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I wanna to talk to you about a new hammer company called Boss Hammers. So if you like this uh, video or you like this review or you just feel like being nice, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. All right, so Boss sent us a couple hammers. All right, they're made in the USA. Uh, this is an all titanium hammer. This is kind of my favorite. Uh, it's a 16 ounce hammer, and we'll go over the features of it in a minute. And then this hammer here is a 14 ounce with a titanium head with a wooden handle. So some guys like to swing a wooden handle hammer. Uh, I prefer, I've broken so many of these in my career over the last 30 years. I've kind of gone to, I used to use the old S-Wing uh, steel, and there's nothing wrong with that hammer, man. It's a good hammer. It's just heavy, and you know, my elbows hurt after a while, so I'm old. Uh, so having a lighter hammer with still has a really, like a 16 ounce that swings like a 22 or a 24, that's pretty sweet. So let's go over the functions. I know you guys are seeing something right here. This is one of the most unique functions of this hammer is that it has a built-in uh, degree gauge and roof pitch gauge right on the hammer, which is pretty cool. How do you use it, doctor? Well, you actually use the uh, base of the claw as your pivot point. So basically, this is your pivot point, and to get your degree, you pull it like this. So let's just, for giggles, let's do a 45 degree angle, and let's put it right at the corner of this cut hub, okay? And then we'll check it and see how accurate it really is. Okay, that says 45. There's my drawing. Huh. I'd say it is just slightly off of this Martinez square. You can kind of see, I'm touching the lead right here. So if you're going for super accuracy, may not be the perfect, but it'll get you in the neighborhood, you know? So it just depends what you're looking for. Oh, and there's also, um, on one side, there's a roof pitch. And then on the other side, there's uh, inches, so that could come in handy as well. Let's see how accurate the inch marker is. Okay, so let's say four inches, right there. Yeah, right there. Okay, four inches. Um, I would say, you know, it could come in handy, maybe functional for you, for some roofers, I'm sure it is. Uh, the other features, okay, so it has a milled face. I, I don't like waffle hammers or textured head hammers because I don't like leaving those kind of marks on my hammer head. Uh, I like smooth face hammers so that's what this one is. It's in a hexagon shape. Uh, it has a magnetic head where you can actually put a nail magnetically and it'll hold on right there. If you are in a spot where you need to reach to start a, a nail, this is how you do it. Okay, I'm going to strike down onto here. So that's how that works. Why don't we go ahead and drive this nail in a little bit. Okay. So the hammer works, right? The hammer's working good. All right, the next feature that we use quite often, and I like this, this feature, is there's dual side pullers on this hammer. So let's see how those work. Uh, basically, as long as you have room to grab the nail, you can hook onto it like that and pull it out to a certain point. Then you can either use the claw to finish pulling it out, or you can be like me and then do something like this. Like if you're having a hard time getting it out one way, there's always another way with your hammer to get out a nail, right? Okay, so now it's pulled. Magnetic tip, side pullers, and then there's a claw. I wish this claw was a little bit deeper, but it's sufficient. Um, it has a good grip, so I won't slip. I mean, I can really feel the handle, and it has a, it has a decent swing to it. The woody's a little stripped down. It still has the magnetic tip in it. So let's try that one out. It's in a, it has a little bit deeper channel. Oh, maybe not. It's just the powder coating that makes it look like that. Okay, so uh, it's the same function. Magnetic, holds a nail. Puts it in fine, but on the woody, there's no side pullers. And the handle, I notice, is really long. So if you, it's probably two inches longer here. 
what we'll do is we'll mark it and then we'll use we we'll use a handy inch markers to see how much longer it is. It's two and a quarter inches longer. This handle's two and a quarter inches longer than this handle. And I feel like this handle's plenty long. Sometimes I choke up on a hammer and I actually use my wrist versus like swinging with my whole arm. So there's a little bit of finesse in there. But the sweet spot on this woody is a little lower. So this is really like true framing style, even though it's a light hammer, 14 ounces. I think a lot of, a lot of framers out there would appreciate this longer stroke. But for me, it's maybe a little too much. All right, guys, to be fair, I went back and uh, checked the hammer again for squareness. And just to be fair, I could actually duplicate a 45 degree angle, but you gotta kinda get to know the, the hammer a little bit and where that actually needs to be on, you gotta be like that gold or whatever color this is, this line right here, you gotta be really accurate on it. Okay, and then I drew a line. Now this, this square hammer, part of the hammer, is only good to about here, I think. Once you hit this, I think the rubber, I don't know if that's a straight line. I guess we'll check it. But I think I can be pretty accurate if I just spend a little bit more time laying out my, my square. Yeah, that looks better. So that's pretty close. Now, like I said before, if you start if you start drawing on the rubber of the handle, it's gonna draw a little bit out. So if you need super accurate 45 degree angles, use a square. But um, if not, that's gonna get you in the neighborhood, which is cool. All right, there you go. Did you guys know I'm ambidextrous? No? All right, check this out. Dang, I thought I was gonna get a third swing out of that, but mm, guess not today. Cool, made in the USA, like I said before, and you might give them a follow. I know they're on Instagram, I'm not sure if they're on YouTube yet, but uh, you can check them out at bosshammers.com. Thanks for watching this video, guys, I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. I mean, the subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to be notified of fresh content that we're putting out. Don't forget to like our videos and leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this one. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.